Hello and welcome to my DeFi programming blog. Today we want to have a look at shortcuts. Not the very simple shortcuts, but very important shortcuts that every DeFi developer should know. So let's dive in. Let's start with code completion. When you um, put the co cursor behind the uh, function or procedure call and pressing control spacebar you will get the full function or procedure name and its parameters if you go with uh, cursor inside you and you press control shift and spacebar you will see only the parameters another important thing is class completion so we have here a new procedure that we want create and I put the cursor on the name and press control shift and C and we have saw so a new procedure and we can enter some values here. But now we realize that we missed to enter one parameter so I can add this here, para int, for example, integer, and to complete it with definition above, we press Control, Alt, Shift, and P. Unfortunately, this does not work on Delphi 12. I hope they will fix it soon. So I will show you it here on Delphi 11.3. So I press again Shift Alt Control and pressing P. And when we scroll to above, you see the edit parameter. That's very handy because you don't have to move to the implementation and again back to the interface. Another interesting shortcut you should know is Control and G. For example, if I type case and press on Control and G, the template is used and you have then the basic frame. Or you can press directly Control G, and you will and you will see a list where you can select and can, for example. Select region and so on. If you select a part of the procedure or the whole procedure, what you can easily do is one or more pressing of Control W and then pressing Control Shift G, then the Zinc Edit modus is activated and you can change for example the value rr to rrb or something like this and all occurrences of this variable are changed in this uh, selected area. Another interesting shortcut that you should know is control shift and t for editing uh, to do entries. And you can later jump to all these entries by selecting it in View, Tool Windows, To Do Lists. This window is at the moment here, open on the left side here. And by double clicking, you can then jump to the To Do entries. So let's go into IDE commands. I'm sure you know already the shortcut control um, and F12 where you can select one of the units in your project. But there's another inter interesting um, shortcut. You know perhaps already if you press here this little arrow, you can select um, one of the already open uh, units. You can, instead of doing this, also press control uh, shift B and then you will have the 
buffer list it is called in English. And the advantage is here that you see also the passes. So if you want to check if the unit here is really located in the right folder, you can use this uh, dialog here. Now let's go to refactoring. For example, I want to make this assignment B is equal uh, than RAB, but B isn't declared. So we can uh, use control shift and V to declare it as a variable. And then uh, this dialog pops up and simply saying okay and then we have it declared here or as an alternative if we don't have it as a local variable but instead a field of the class we can uh, use control shift and d and then it will be declared as a field and you can select also here uh, pr as private, protected, public or published. So and then we have this variable here that is also very handy. Of course in the newer uh, Delphi version we can also write var uh, a and so on. But for compatibility for example sometimes we have to use this alt approach. Another shortcut that you also should know is jumping between um, implementation and interface. Control shift and arrow up and down. So you can jump from the interface to the implementation that is very handy. So now we are uh, reaching to searching and simply search into in the current unit is control and uh, f or control shift and f then you can search all files in the project or in different directories so pressing control g and the cursor jumps to the declaration but you should know if you have a, a inline declaration here this function will no longer longer work so it, if i press again control g it does not if i remove it it works again another thing that should be uh, fixed soon i hope So some other interesting shortcuts are only um, valid if the program is running and you are debugging. So I have set here a breakpoint and uh, start the program and we'll open a file and select one word and press the bold button and we are now here. And now we can use, for example, Control, Alt, and M. And then we have the modules information, which modules are loaded. Or we can press Control, Alt, C to have the CPU window with several information here. And there is another interesting shortcut that you perhaps don't know. It is Control Alt D. It's a D assembly window. And the advantage is here you can also step into the different calls, but you can use simply the escape button to close this window. So that's in comparison with a CPU window, you can have a short look here and can
can very fast close again this window. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you want to see more like this you can um, click this or this video. Have fun with this. Bye bye.